Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings be upon you all. Barakallahu feekum. Akil quest. As you know, the purpose of the channel is not me, it's the places and spaces of significance that are found in this beautiful world that Allah has created. And as you know, the series it continues. We're here in the beautiful city of Jerusalem and in its heart, which lies Masjid Al Aqsa. Today's video is going to be an interesting, awe inspiringly beautiful video. The focus of today's video is the magnificent sight that we see in front of us. The Dome of the Rock. This is the place is mentioned, peace and blessings be upon him. He, when he arrived in the honorable city of Jerusalem, and in particular, he arrived in Masjid al Aqsa, this place which all of it is blessed. SubhanAllah. Is al Aqsa. And yes, there are specific mosques and places that are found here. The Qibli Mosque, the Dome of the Rock, which you can see in front of you, Masjid Marwan, where there is the Chamber of Maryam, alayha salam, Masjid Al Buraq, and other places of significance. SubhanAllah, throughout the centuries, where notable personalities have played a very important part on the development of Masjid Al Aqsa, the complex. So today, I just wanted to give you a walkthrough of the Dome of the Rock, Kibli, here on, sorry, the site of the Rock Masha Allah. It's magnific magnificent, Masha Allah, I can't even get my words out. That's how sometimes I become awestruck with the beauty of this place. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakallah fikum, my dear brothers. Our oh dear Palestinian brothers, Barakallah. I've just prayed Al Fajr in the Masjid. MashaAllah. May Allah bless and protect them always. These are the people who defend this beautiful place when the aggressors cause their issues and conflict. So, the Dome of the Rock. MashaAllah. We're going to do a walkthrough, insha'Allah, and explain some of the important aspects of it. I apologize for my lack of camera skills, but I'm slowly getting there, subhanAllah. So this is the entrance point. Primarily, you find during the day, the Dome of the Rock is frequented by the sisters. So the sisters in particular, they pray the congregational prayer within the Dome of the Rock, SubhanAllah and it's uh, a place of sanctuary for them, SubhanAllah recently you might have seen a video of them being blockaded inside by the aggressors and it's important to hear these stories and narratives about what happens so I'm just going to take off my shoes these videos are as they are, I don't pause, I don't edit want you to experience and feel what I feel of course behind a camera lens Bismillah Subhanallah Subhanallah just look at the magnificent architecture, the calligraphy, the amount of time and effort that has been placed uh, and taken, sorry, subhanAllah. So just after Al Fajr, the sun has risen, and here in front of you is the inside part of the Dome of the Rock. And as I mentioned, 
it's a place which is a place of sanctuary and peace for our sisters in particular. MashaAllah. I'm just going to pan around. Correct your intentions. You're viewing these honorable sites for the sake of God. I'm insignificant. These are the places where there is great religious importance. Just wanted you to see and experience the beauty of the architecture. So the golden dome that you see outside, which you saw at the start of this video, this is how Subhanallah it looks from the inside. MashaAllah. Barakallahu feekum. Subhanallah. I actually know the brothers who have been part of the calligraphy team. MashaAllah. The honorable dome of the Dome of the Rock. The place from which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He ascended in the second part of the night journey He ascended to paradise from this spot Subhanallah, such a beautiful time of the day to enter and visit I'm just going to pan towards the left um, Subhanallah And here you have a place Where it's mentioned The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He placed his honourable hand And also it's mentioned that The opening where one places one's hand there is a hair of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encased and also the footprint of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam according to some amongst what people mention. But just admire the beauty of the calligraphy if you could feel what I feel in terms of serenity and peace within this beautiful masjid Subhanallah The heart truly is at ease So here you have the casing And in here it's mentioned that There is the hair of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Also some mention the footprint of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And there's an opening here So a person can place their hands To gain some blessings from the traces Of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam May Allah accept all of your supplications May Allah facilitate ease And I ask Allah by the status and honour Of Master Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to facilitate the needs of all the people who asked for me to make supplication for them. Ameen Ya Rabb. This is as you can see here, Subhanallah, this is the honorable rock from where our master Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he ascended to the skies on the second part of the honorable night journey. This was to elevate his rank, Subhanallah. And on this night journey, he saw some of the magnificence of creation. He saw 
matters, subhanAllah, that will happen in the future. At Al-Aqsa, he led the prayer with all the prophets of Allah, peace and blessings be upon all of them behind him. He was the leader, the Imam, to signify his status as the best of all creation. To signify, signify the status that he is the best amongst all the prophets. So this is the Dome of the Rock, SubhanAllah. The honorable rock which you can see. Subhanallah. So underneath the honorable rock, there is a cave. And uh, we will walk, inshallah, down to the cave. But here you have a better view of the honorable rock from where the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he ascended in the second part of the night journey. So many people, what do they do after visiting and looking at the rock from above? They come down and they pray some obligatory prayers. They pray some of their qada prayers. They pray some of their sunnah prayers. And they pray some of their extra prayers. And thanks and gratitude to Allah. We have a number of sisters here this morning. Like I mentioned, this place, subhanAllah, during the day is frequented by the women who pray here. The honorable cave underneath the honorable rock, underneath the honorable dome, in the honorable complex of Al-Aqsa, in the honorable city of Jerusalem. Ma sha Allah, barakallahu fikum. May Allah raise the rank of our master, Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah facilitate for all of us to come and visit Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa to see the beautiful sights that are found therein, to feel what I feel, to experience what I experience. A keel quest. This is the purpose of this channel, to bring to the forefront the places of significance. Ma sha Allah, barakallahu fikum. Thank you for watching and listening and viewing, please. I'm not going to say like or subscribe to the channel. Just share. Let the people know that it's fundamentally important for you to visit Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Do not leave it barren. And we'll end the video there. Barakallahu fikum. Assalamu alaikum. Keep me in your dua.